Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, what I'll be doing is making halloumi from scratch. For my birthday last year, I received a make your own halloumi kit and it's just been sitting on the side. So I decided today would be the day that I make it. The kit comes with all the ingredients needed apart from four liters of full fat milk, which is what I'll be buying first. Uh, and then we'll make it, see how it does, test it out and put it into something to eat. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoy the video. some barbecue food because it's 32 degrees outside and it's very hot in this car so yeah let's make some halloumi so this is the cheese making kit I received uh, many moons ago what you'll need for this particular one is cheesecloth large pan with lid knife uh, the little spoon a colander, thermometer and mixing bowl and then the ingredients you need is also a four litres of full fat milk, the mini micro spoons, a quarter of a sachet of rennet and some salt and also some mint if you're feeling kind of fruity. So the first step was to dissolve the rennet into uh, the cold water. Uh, you were actually only meant to use a quarter of the packet but I accidentally used the whole packet so bear in mind that may have you know messed up this whole thing. Anyway, uh, then we heated the milk to 32 degrees and stirred occasionally. So once the milk is at 32 degrees, then make a water bath in the sink. So fill it up with water, put it to 32 degrees and then transfer the milk into it. Um, and then also add the rennet in and mix that up. Following this, leave it for 45 minutes uh, and then you should be able to cut curds into it. So use a knife to cut little cube-like shapes um, all the way through it. Then you're going to want to transfer this to the hob again uh, and try and get it to 40 degrees using the thermometer. Um, and then you're going to sieve it using the cheesecloth um, and to basically separate the whey out to the curds. Um, and then you are going to put the curds on the heat and put them all the way to 95 degrees. Also, whilst doing this, cut the curds into 10 separate pieces. Uh, once it's at 93 degrees, you'll be able to get rid of any excess stuff that's left in the whey. Uh, and then you'll be able to lower in the curds into the whey and it should begin to cook. Bring it to the boil and then take off the heat uh, and leave for 20 minutes. Once that's done, take it out, dip them in some water and leave them to dry whilst putting some salt on the top of them as well. For anyone interested, that was how you make the halloumi. So, the finished piece. We'll give this a go. Looks alright. The texture's a bit funny because mm. probably should leave it till tomorrow to try, but we'll give it a go tonight and then maybe we'll try it tomorrow as well. <laughs> a few moments later. So, it's the next day, uh, we've left it to dry as recommended, so hopefully um, it might be a bit nicer. As you can see, got it frying in the pan, 
non-stick and the pan is non-stick this does stick my lovely halloumi Some sweet chilli sauce to make it yummy. Okay, now let's taste it. Mmm, it's got the bounce. <laughs> it's not as bad as yesterday. Yeah, it's still pretty bad. I don't hate it, but I don't like it. Uh, you know what? Uh, my review of my halloumi is that this on this on the first day it was disgusting it had no flavor the texture was completely off and it just made made you feel like you were chewing on sick today with the instruction of you know leaving it in the fridge uncovered um, for a day at least or 12 hours or so um, it tastes a little bit nicer I think we've added a bit more salt and some sweet chilli sauce to mask the sicky flavour. Overall, I'd say this is a big fat fail. This is disgusting, and I'm never gonna make it ever again. Thank you, Brave Family, for this terrible gift. Let me rephrase that. Thank you, Brave Family, for giving me a gift that I have ruined.